Hey beauties, I'm Seren Leone. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my flawless routine with my favorite beauty products in 2020. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications if you haven't already. And stay tuned because we are going to dive right in. Okay, you ready? So, I'm priming my face with Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer. I love this primer because it acts as a moisturizer and I have combination skin leading me to my new favorite foundation which is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Foundation. This foundation is really the perfect match for me. Seriously. So I'm in the shade 71 NN. Let me know down below in the comments what your shade is or what you think your shade is or if you think I could be your perfect color match. I really love this foundation. It is truly weightless and it is key for me to get that flawless full coverage look it is full coverage but you can tell that my skin is 100% breathing underneath speaking of 100% this stuff is cruelty free okay so this is the stay naked correcting concealer also up to 24 hour wear so this is a buildable coverage hold on let me get to that back Buildable coverage, flexible, breathable, does not transfer, real skin matte finish, corrects the look of imperfection, and it's waterproof and it's also vegan. I love it. I'm in the shade 70 Warm Orange. Wow, it doesn't look like really warm orange, but I guess, you know. So there I go. I start to pat down the concealer with my hands so I can just like kind of warm it up on my skin and, you know, let it kind of dry down as well. Applying concealer is like my favorite part of the entire makeup routine. It really feels like I'm really slapping on my war paint because it always looks tribal, especially like on my face. But remember, you want to highlight or conceal the highest points in, of your face. So just remember that no matter what pattern you choose or how you decide to highlight your face or conceal your face, just make sure that you're getting the highest points. Now I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender. So when I do this, I kind of start like around the edges and then when I get to the middle, I don't tap it out all the way completely. You know, that's how I get like a more full coverage look. So this concealer definitely is one of my favorite concealers for 2020. Now we are moving on back to Fenty Beauty. Remember what happened in the last video, guys, when my, when the whole like tube fell out? Oh gosh, so yeah, remember to open it correctly because sometimes, you know, it can slip out. So here, I'm just contouring my face, my nose, the sides of my cheek and my forehead, and I am blending that out with my finger. This is one of the perfect shades for like my contour. I love how it blends out. I'm just a huge fan of Fenty Beauty matchsticks. So ladies, I know in my previous video, I promised you guys that I would pull out my brushes and blend with those, but here I am with my fingers and my beauty blenders. So I do love to first blend my contour out with my finger now and then a beauty blender for a less muddy look. Sometimes my contour is really getting all over the place. Mm -mm. Not for this flawless skin finish. So another one of my favorite products in 2020 has been the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder. I never get flashback when I use this product and I'm in the shade Hazelnut. So you need this to snatch your face. So next I'm gonna grab my Fenty Beauty Brow MVP but only to brush out those brows because the ultra fine tip, okay, when that thing fell on the floor, I realized, mm -mm, this is too fragile for me, girl. So it can't, I love the product, but to be honest, the Anastasia Zip Brow in, the, in Ebony, that's always going to be my gem. That's always going to be what I do my brows with. Look at them. Next is the Jackie Ina palette. I love this palette. The color that I'm using on my lids is pinker. And look at that color payoff. By the way, did you guys see me prime my lids? I, I know I should have, but um, did you see me prime my lids? No, no, I did not. And look at that color payoff. It's just so beautiful. If you are a brown skinned girl or a girl of a darker tone, or if colors just don't usually show up on your skin, you should really grab this palette. I love it. And it's, I'm just so glad that I can finally wear a pink on my lids. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know if I'm overdoing it here, but you know, I get excited. <laughs> 
As you can see, that's Supreme on the brush. Look at that. Look at how pink it is. This is just, it's just so beautiful to me. I was so excited when I saw the color payoff. It's really wow. Wow. And let's just scooch back to me, you know, not popping my lids. Technically, I put concealer over them, okay? Here I'm just using my um, foundation, Can't Stop, Won't Stop, the collab with Alyssa Ashley. Mm -hmm. I love that foundation, but for now I'm just using it to clean up my eyebrows and to like give my eyeshadow a shape, kind of. That was my Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer in the shade Mocha Mommy. Let me know down below in the comments if you like Mocha Mommy and how you would it look like on your skin. I love this bronzer for my skin tone. As far as lip liner beauties, I don't have it together. I can't say that this is my fi favorite product. This is just what I got. So I'm just like lining my lips. But what I do love is this luscious lip balm. Oh my goodness. This feels so uber soft on the lips. And this color, you know, not really my favorite of 2020, but it's like what I have, what I'm working with. And because I have pink on the lids, I wanted to put pink on my lips, lids and lips. Okay, beauties, here I come with and with the eyelashes on, okay? I'm getting a little bit better at the process. So now I'm just highlighting with my, um, the Kilowatt Highlighter in Mo Honey. I love the product because look at the shine. Instant sun hitting the face. I love this Fenty Beauty product. One of my favorite highlighters besides rum. And setting powder, again, don't have a favorite one, but <laughs> gotta set your face with something. If you got a suggestion, leave it down in the comments and I would try your, set, your favorite setting powder, okay? Or setting spray, my bad. So here, I'm just using some more of that foundation to kind of cut off my um, my bronzer and my contour to give me more of a chiseled look. So next, I grabbed the Jackie Ina palette and I went in with Zam to highlight the inner and outer corners. I really don't know why I wanted to do that. I just wanted to do it. See what my eyes look like. You know, experimenting. I put on eyeshadow today, okay? So beauties, here is my final look. I think that my face looks so fresh and so flawless. What do you think about my final look? Let me know down in the comments. If you love it, I hope that you are subscribed to my channel for more videos just like this. I do have some tricks up my sleeve, y'all, like more hair videos and styling videos. But for now, I'ma just surprise y'all with this gloss balm. Hands down, favorite lip gloss of 2020. It's just so thick and so mwah, on the lips <laughs> so like I was saying here's another quick wear test as you can see it came off a little bit around my nose and underneath but that's because I usually it's cold outside and my nose runs so like I was saying before don't forget to chit chat with me in the comments and subscribe to my channel I will see you beauty soon in the next video